All of you who said you had a best friend, right? I saw all the hands, almost everybody in here said, I have a friend that I can tell the good, the bad, the ugly to. Let me talk to you about being a friend. Real friends look out for friends in spite of themselves. Real friends will be there for each other even when your friend doesn't want you to speak up and speak out. If you have a friend, right, all of you who said you have heard someone talking about suicide, you have heard somebody or seen somebody self-harming and cutting, you are not a friend if you keep your mouth shut. Real friends look out for each other's well-being. If your friend tells you, listen, I am suicidal and I, I do want to self-harm, but don't tell anybody. If you're genuinely that friend that you said you are, what you need to do, if you can't tell them and convince them, the one who's thinking about self-harming, the one who's thinking about cutting, if you don't speak up and talk to them and get them to talk to somebody, it is your duty, it is your obligation as being a friend. How many of you here say that you have a best friend? Raise your hand again. Let me see the hands. Put your hands down. How many of you say that you've heard somebody talk about suicide again? Raise your hand. Put them down. How many of you said that you have seen somebody self-harming? Raise your hand. Put them down. So all of you who said you're friends, I'm telling you, if you're genuinely a friend and you care about them, you'll speak up for them even when they won't. You'll go to their counselor. You'll go to their parents. You'll go to the principal. And you'll say, hey, so-and-so has been talking to me about committing suicide, and we need somebody to talk to her, please. So-and-so, I saw them self-harming, and we need somebody to talk to them, please. That is what being a real friend is.